Welcome back. My name is John. I'm an AC software consultant at Pentagon Solutions. We've got a new video for you today in terms of how to get your 2D images, PDFs, DWGs into 3D software such as Revit. Uh, we've had a lot of customers recently ask us about kind of the transition, um, how big the learning curve is, and there, you know, there's an element of worry about how to do that. So I'm going to show you today a few different ways of taking all those images and PDFs and DWGs what we already have that exists, bring it into Revit so that we don't have to start completely from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to link some elements in, um, the likes of your DWGs, but also how to import PDFs and our images. So if I take you over to the insert tab of Revit, we have both the import for image and PDF at the top here. So importing an image, um, it's fairly straightforward. So if I go to my desktop here, um, I'm just going to import just a, a general image of our office work plan, our first floor plan. So you can just bring it in and you can start tracing over the top of that. Bringing in an image, you will have to check your scale um, just to make sure, but you can use some quick measure tools for that. Um, just check point to point what it is, if it's close to what you need, and take it from there. Beyond that, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. We can also import PDFs. So if I bring in a PDF just as well, choice of PDFs, as long as it's been printed right, we can place that, trace over it. We know the scale is then gonna be right as well. Um, the one I'm gonna concentrate on today is a DWG. Reason being, we can link those in, which means it's a live link, sort of like XRFs and AutoCAD, um, where we can keep all the scales right, we can snap to our lines, um, generally it's a format that a lot of people are working in anyway, so a lot of people have floor plans in DWG and need to convert that to 3D, so that's the reason we're going to use that today. So I'm going to take the, um, just the, again, basic outline of our office and hit OK. So I'll move my elevation markers out of the way. So you can see it's brought in a basic floor plan, um, this is a ground floor plan just. It's, Added colors for layers. Um, that's an option you can turn that off and just have it all black and gray if you want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when you start trying to trace over this. So if I go to my wall, um, I'm just going to stick this basic wall. I'm going to connect up to level one and I'm going to draw using the interior face just to make it a bit easier to trace the outline. Um, start in the corner here at the end point. I see it does snap to the lines that exist from a DWG. And I'm just going to drag this around the building. Again, very simple and easy to work with. You'll see all the connections are there as well. We don't have to do any kind of cuts, or any trims. All the joins are there for us. And we'll swap to maybe an interior wall. We'll go with this one. And again, this one's just on center line, so top to bottom, it's handy enough. Um, I'm going to change that to interior. And we'll just follow that around as well. So you see, it's a very kind of straightforward, easy process. Um, we're drawn no differently than what we would if we were in 2D anyway. So to show you what's happening, if I window tile that for us, we've got our 2D plan with our DWG underlay, and we have our 3D model being built for us in the background. So you can watch this happen at the same time. If I change, uh, use a slightly thinner interior wall, just to trace some more lines. Um, I'll keep those settings the same. Uh, we'll check over here. always add in and reconnect some more so you can see that all being built for us in 3d as we go and again the joys of kind of doing this in Revit and quickly transitioning over you notice there are doors around the building um, that aren't placed yet 
So if I just take basic kind of standard door, I start putting those in. It cuts the wall for us. You can see it in 3D as well. And again, if we need to flip it, we can just use the arrows that come with the door that are attached to that. I will throw one in there. And you'll see he's dotting around the building here as well. If we need a different size, we can swap to a different size. So straightforward enough. Um, it's just as easy to put windows in as well. So we'll put some slightly larger windows in, just dot them around the building. And we're very quickly building up our 3D model. So it's a fairly straightforward process. Um, again, we provide all the training on this as well if you're looking at getting into architecture or Revit for architecture, um, which includes this process and how to get your DWGs in and build your model upon what you already have existing. So if you enjoyed the video, um, Please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much. If you keep an eye on Twitter as well, we also post updates on when these videos go live. Thank you very much.